Florida Congressman and Colonel Alan West joins me from Boynton Beach. Uh, good evening, Congressman. How are you? Good evening. It's very, uh, really a pleasure to be with you. First of all, I'd like to say happy Rosh Hashanah, Lashana Tova Tikatevu to all of our Jewish friends here in America and all across the world. Absolutely. Happy New Year. All right, Congressman, you heard it. White House spinning. This is a video. And we hear from the president of Libya that this was uh, not about a video. What say you? Well, it's very simple. When I listened to the U.N. Ambassador Susan Rice today, uh, several words came to mind. Uh, asinine, naive, <laughs> inept, incompetent, and borderline ignorant. Because when you understand that the Egyptian government, their intelligence services, put out a letter talking about a potential uh, threat of, uh, you know, attacks and uprisings about a week before this, it was even printed in the Jerusalem Post on 9-11. And anyhow, I can tell you, Judge, having been in a combat zone several times after 9-11, we were always on a higher state of uh, security and alertness on 9-11. It should have been the exact same thing here. And for Susan Rice to say that this was not a well-coordinated attack, first of all, I'd have to ask her what is her line of expertise and understand what a well-coordinated attack is, because this was not happenstance, it was not coincidence, this was well-planned, well-coordinated, and the president there in Libya confirms that. You know, Congressman, and, and we have to thank you for your years of uh, service. You've won many military honors and the, Browns, uh, the Bronze Star as well. But, I mean, do you wonder how they can uh, spin like this when uh, the warning was in, as you say, the Jerusalem Post? There were at least four attacks in Benghazi and the yeah. anniversary of 9-11. Why are they, do you think they're being disingenuous or just kind of spinning? Or do you think they're outright? Right, distorting the truth. Well, they're outright distorting the truth, and with the help of the complicit mainstream media, this can be an incredible Jimmy Carter moment for President Obama, especially when you go back and look at what he said back in 2009 at the University of Cairo. We have consistently showed a policy of appeasement. We have not stood up and had a very clear and defined Middle East policy. We have emboldened our uh, enemies and really confused our allies. And you saw the reaction today from Prime Minister Netanyahu. So I think this really does come down to an issue for them. They see the failures of their domestic economic policies. The last thing they can uh, not afford to have is also to be seen as weak on foreign policy. And what do you think going forward? I mean, you're a congressman right now. I mean, how does this impact the election going forward? Well, I think that the American people do not want to once again relive the uh, specter of Jimmy Carter in those 444 days of the Iranian hostage uh, incident. We know now that the leader of Hezbollah, Hez Hezron Nasrallah, is already calling for more protests. And we know how they stand as far as their relationship to Israel. And as well, they're in Syria supporting uh, Bashar al-Assad. So I think that this will end up playing uh, quite heavily against the president. He's going to have to come out and talk about, number one, how does he go back and define his Middle East policy? And once again, how is he going to accept responsibility for this which has happened? Because it's not just about, as you said, some uh, you know, Facebook video that came out. All right. Uh, and, Congressman, one more thing before I say thank you and goodbye. Mm -hmm. uh, do we now start to attach conditions to the money that we give Libya and Egypt? Well, I think it's not about attaching conditions. I think you need to send a very strong message, and you need to cut off that aid. Good. Until these uh, countries show that they're willing to protect our embassies, which we are willing to do here in this country. And we also have to send a very strong informational operation message, and we need to start developing the military contingency, which means that we need to stop the sequester. Okay. Congressman West, thank you so much for being with us this evening. Thanks, Thanks for having me, Judge.